I feel like I'm continuing to grow, develop into a mature young lady, a mature athlete, as well as a vessel that I am put on this earth to do to become to, to continue to grow. In the past year, Shikari Richardson proved that she is indeed a mature version of herself. This year, she continues to do so. In addition to her personal growth and maturity, the 24-year-old track star, who also happens to be the 100 meters world champion, is slowly but surely making her mark in the sport. Personal and professional growth, check, that's Shakari Richardson for you. Although she made a late start to the season, competing in her first individual race at the beginning of this year's Diamond League athletic circuit. The 2024 Diamond League, the top tier track and field athletic series, got underway in Ayaman, People's Republic of China on April 20th. Just so you know, the 15th edition of the Diamond League features 14 one-day meetings before the final takes place in Brussels on 13 and the 14th of September. Anyway, going back to Shakari's first race of the season, well, it hadn't been the greatest of starts in a manner of speaking. At the Shaman Diamond League, spectators were surprised to witness Richardson stunned by Australian Tori Lewis in the women's 200 meters. Despite running a strong bend, Richardson was behind Anavia Battle for most of the race, but moved ahead inside the closing 20 meters. Richardson, who thought she had won the race, was seen adjusting her hair for the cameras as she waited for the result of the photo finish, which went the way of Australian 100-meter record holder Lewis. In the end, there's a photo finish. All eyes on Richardson, who still has the time to uh, see if she looks good for the cameras. Yes, she Some may have been dismayed with how things went for the American track star, but Shakari thought otherwise. Really from good there, about it being a season opener, kind of late for me in this season to open up, so had, I was a little nervous, but once I got on the track, it felt like felt like home. So I felt really good with this first performance. I know what I need to work on, me and my coach. From there, the American star raced over the 200 meters again the following weekend, as the Diamond League stayed in the People's Republic of China for round two in Shanghai, Suzhou with 14 league disciplines again split evenly between men and women. There, she still wasn't able to exhibit her dominance on the track. Expecting Richardson to win first place in the 200 meters this time, fans were once again disappointed when Great Britain's Darrell Naita began her season in storming style as she beat a strong field, including Shikari Richardson, to win the women's 200 meters. A Navy of battle ended up in second place, while Richardson, the world 100 meters champion, finished third. Richardson only just held off her charging world championship sprint relay teammate Tamara Clark at the line and did not look particularly competitive after losing in a photo finish the previous week. That is not to say, though, that Richardson doesn't seem strong enough this season. As a matter of fact, she showed the world why she is the current 100M world champion a few days ago. At the recently concluded Prefontaine Diamond League in Eugene, Oregon, she ran her first 100 meters race in 2024, after winning the world championship over the distance in 2023. Just a quick recap, Richardson took second and third in two 200 meters, races earlier this year, and second in a four times 100 relay. The Diamond League Round 5 held in Eugene. USA had been much anticipated, as it is viewed by some as somewhat of a preview of the Olympic final, with the top sprinters in the world set to compete against each other. Two-time and reigning Olympic champion Elaine thompson Hera of Jamaica has been added to the start list in the women's 100 for the Diamond League Prefontaine Classic stop, where she'll go head-to-head -head with reigning world champion Shakari Richardson on the Americans' home turf. But wait, there's more. Marie-José Talou-Smith of Côte d'Ivoire and St. Lucia's Julian Alfred are also set to feature. It's the first time since last September's Diamond League final, also held in Eugene, that Thompson Hera and Richardson will meet in the 100 meters with the Jamaican clipping Shakari at the finish line to claim bronze with 10.79 to 10.80, while Talou-Smith won the silver at that event. There, in the star-studded track, Richardson won her very first 100M of the Olympic year. She crossed the finish line in an impressive 10.83 seconds, beating two-time Olympic gold medalist Elaine Thompson-Hara from Jamaica. 
With this incredible finish, Richardson is now the second fastest in the world this year, coming in closely behind Jashus Sears from the University of Tennessee, who finished the 100 meters in 10.77 seconds last month. Really good start there from Shakari Richardson, really good start from Julian Alfa, do expect that, she's uh, leading at the moment. Shakari Richardson coming better and getting ahead and winning comfortably, a one meter win there for Shakari Richardson. 10.83 for Shakari Richardson. It was clear about 30 meters in that Richardson was going to cruise to a victory, topping St. Lucia's Julian Alfred, who finished second at 10.93 seconds, and Great Britain's Dina Asher-Smith, who finished the race third at 10.98 ahead of fellow Briton Daryl Neta. Melissa Jefferson was the second American home in fifth, ahead of Cote d'Ivoire's Marie-José Talou-Smith. Jamaica's reigning Olympic champion Elaine thompson Hera making her first competitive appearance since last September's Prefontaine Classic, was ninth in 11.30. I'm excited. I'm eager going into the rest of the season. I'm growing, developing, and just getting ready to make that USA team," Richardson shared with a big smile after the race. The Prefontaine Classic was the fifth stop of the year on the elite International Diamond League series. For the Americans vying for a spot on the Olympic team, it served as a key tune-up. The pre is unique in that there are no preliminary heats, only finals. It's considered a fan-friendly and made-for-TV event. When asked if she was nervous about the race, she said, um, Obviously, I definitely was. It's my opener. I would, be, I would not be human to say that I wasn't nervous, but I was nervous, but use that as my coach said, use that nervousness as motivation. And according to the Sprinting Dynamo, she's just getting started. After crossing the line, Richardson did a lap of honor around Hayward Field before warmly embracing Morat, who was also celebrating with the fans. If it isn't obvious, Morat and Richardson are quickly becoming friends on and off track. Before the event, the Kenyan athlete shared a video of her jamming to a gospel song with the American. The video, shared on Facebook, was captioned, Here we go again with my bestie, Shakari Richardson, much love. The two athletes will be chasing a first Olympic gold medal at their respective races later this year in Paris, France. Speaking of Paris, Richardson's big win in Eugene officially sets her up to participate in the Olympic trials next month, followed by the Paris Olympic Games this summer. When asked what's next for her, she said, Grinding, focusing, growing, and getting ready for trials. Will you race again before the trials? We'll see. Watch. In Eugene, American Christian Coleman, like Shakari, won the 100 meters in 9.95 seconds, holding off Kenyan Ferdinand Omanyala by three hundredths. I'm in the best shape I've ever been in, and I feel like now it's just mentally putting it all together and doing what I know I'm capable of on race day. The 2019 world champion Coleman said, according to the Diamond League, Anyhow, as the big race is near, Richardson spoke about how she is keeping her circle close, that's helped her stay motivated and locked in on her goals. I've created my own type of environment where I'm locked in on a day-to-day, -day, Richardson said to Yahoo Sports. With my family and my friends, I'm in this bubble, and I don't have to worry about the outside stuff getting in. It's easy to maintain that motivation and focus. But the Olympic trials and games aren't the only thing Shakari has her eyes on this year. In February, the track star announced that she's now the face of an exciting fashion collab with Nike and Jacobus, a project that had been in the works for quite some time. The collaboration combines style and strength, qualities that define Richardson's brand, as well as the aesthetic of both Nike and Jacobus. Fashion is so personal, and I definitely use it to express myself. It can show how you feel, your mood, your creativity, she said in a statement about the collab. As you all know, Shakari is known for her fiery hair, whatever color or style she decided to show up in, and her long, colorful nails. It won't be a surprise. In fact, it is kind of expected. For her to show up in Paris in her signature look of long nails and her own brand of fashion. Watch this to see who else is expected, or at least trying, to be in Paris.